We can discuss this the whole day. Heptabase versus Obsidian versus Notion versus Tana, you name it. However, today I want to show you just in a few minutes the key features inside Heptabase that are either not available or not getting even close to how Heptabase allows me to connect information. So let's dive right in. So let's say we have a node one and so far you might have this maybe visually represented a bit different in Obsidian, Notion and so on. Let's create another node. And now what you might know is is how you connect these nodes together. Well, you just use the add sign and then you start typing the name of the other node and there it is, node one. And now I connected node one with node two. If we go down into the info, there is nothing. But if I go to node one and I go to the info, I have now the backlink here to node two and it says it here. With a click of a button, I open up this node and this is how these things are connected. That's something we know, but the big difference in Heptabase is that you have whiteboards. And yes, in Obsidian, for example, you have canvases and so on. But I show you now the big difference here when it comes to how you leverage your information on whiteboards. Here is the nodes that we just created. Let's bring in node one. Let's bring in node two. Nothing happens. However, if I go to the options down here and I activate show mention link, boom, it shows me now visually the connection that I made in text form. So by just mentioning node one, now if I add these two cards on a whiteboard, it automatically shows me the connection. Now imagine if you have created a lot of nodes without using whiteboards and you connected them together somehow way or form and you add them later onto a whiteboard, you activate this and you suddenly see how everything is interconnected. I think this is awesome. And I show you if we mention here node 2, see it updates. Now we have a two-way connection and let's create this way a node 3 and mention node 2. See, it automatically updates these connections. But this is just a visual representation. That's not so exciting, right? But what we can also do if we on a whiteboard creating these nodes, we use the connect tool and we connect these together visually. So in order to not get confused, switch off the show mention link. Well, that's something you know from a lot of whiteboarding tools. But look what happens inside the node. We can open this in the sidebar. And you see now the connection information. You see on node 3 that it is connected to node 1. So let's remove this arrow again. See, no connection. If I visually connect it, Boom, it's connecting here. So you see, to not get confused, let's remove this mention and any text. All we have is a visual connection between these two nodes and it is shown this way. It also shows you the direction. If I add another arrow key, you now see it's updating here too. So I really see how the things are connected. If I'm in this node, only on this node, without visual representation, I already know how it's connected. With a click of a button here, it opens up the whiteboard and it zooms into the connection, but it doesn't stop here. Because as many of you know, if you double click on an arrow key on a whiteboard, you can add additional text. This connection means and boom, you see how this updates here. So this means I visually add a representation what this connection means and I get the information inside the node. And now you can imagine when you're working this way and you just then open up a node out of context, you get a lot of context down here. You see that it's placed in a whiteboard and you see how it's connected to other nodes and you see even what the connection means and how it's connected. And I can click on node one to open up the node one and now you see the same connections here. Isn't this amazing? And this goes way further because the last thing I want to show you quickly is handling PDF annotations. So if I'm using a PDF, in this case, here is my PhD thesis. So I can bring in highlights like this. And now I visually connect them together. And it does the same thing. If I go to the information of this highlight, you see the connection. So I can say this is related to this. And by just simply doing this visually, I see now here, oh, this is related to this. If I go to any other whiteboard and I bring in a card like this, it shows me appears in two whiteboards. I can click and I see, oh, I already added this node in a different whiteboard. Click of a button, it moves to the whiteboard, it moves to the place where this is, and this is how things are staying interconnected. And at the same time for the highlight, when I click the button here, it opens up the PDF file and it scrolls to the position where I highlighted the things. And these insights alone, this is usually the moment where we see this wow moment for so many of our members when we explain the vision 
visual connection of information this way. We all know the fancy graph view inside Obsidian, but this is just giving you a nice visual representation of your notes, but it is no meaning behind it. Here, every connection has a meaning. If I activate now the mentions, see, now I have a combination of the things that I mentioned via text, but also the visual connections. Everything has an effect that you do on a whiteboard inside Heptabase. And yes, there are other whiteboarding tools out there that give you similar outcomes, like for the PDF annotation and so on, but nothing goes so far beyond what Heptabase does. I just showed you the whiteboards and note-taking and backlinking, but obviously there's a lot more. If you want to learn more about this, I have a whole channel talking just about Heptabase and the features that you have there, or you take the mastery course that we have inside the membership. This video is not sponsored by Heptabase, but I thought it was important to make this video to really point out the key features that I think makes Heptabase stand out compared to others if you want to have a visual representation of your notes like I need it in my life. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so I can catch you up in the next one.